Good day everyone. So let me share to you the Calervo build I was using earlier. The build focuses on damage overtime mechanic that melts enemies in seconds. I am using the legendary melee weapon which happens to be just the lesion and I'm using a gas build for this melee with the corrupted mud. In case you don't know, damage overtime does deal more damage when you have a faction mud in your build. And of course, condition overload will make the damage even more busted with the elements and physical damage we are spreading to the enemies. Along with the elements I have in my companion using the Hellstrom with the Viral and Heat build. Also, gas is not the only element that creates this enemy melting process so sweet. It so happens that the lesion has high slash values that it pairs well with gas, allowing more damage over time effect. If you slash enemies that are affected by collective curse with the lesion build, they will melt in seconds and acolytes and even Eximus units with overguard feel like they are also trash mobs in the game. The only problem with the initial build I have shown you is that overguard alone is not a great survivability as it's only another layer of health with no damage reduction. Aside from that, you don't have shields and you need to rely on adaptation to stack 90% damage reduction from a specific damage type to somehow reduce the damage of enemies to your health. Since this Kalervo build has no issues when it comes to kill speed, I propose that you use his fourth ability to subsume Mesa's shooting gallery and equip the muzzle flash augment to blind enemies per 6 kill, increasing your overall survivability. 
With Nautilus also grouping enemies together, you can increase the survivability of Colervo since you can proc the Muscle Flash Augment with the fast skills you have from your lesion. However, for you to achieve this build, you must sacrifice Prime Flow in one of your mod slot and use the Archon system to place blue Archon shards and increase Colervo's energy with it. So this is the build I have for my Colervo and I hope you will enjoy it as I did in long endurance runs. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video.